Okay, here's another example, but instead um, we still have this whole number divided by a number smaller than 1. So the first number tells me again how many I'm going to shade in completely. And it's one whole and then 6 tenths, so go ahead and do that. And it doesn't have to be that neat. Okay, so 1 and 6 tenths are shaded. And then because this number is a decimal smaller than 1, it's going to tell me how many are in each group. So I will take my pen and count 4 tenths and make a loop around them. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. and one, two, three, four. And where does my answer come from? Well, the answer is going to tell me how many groups I've made. And I've made four groups. Okay, so again, this number is the number that I shade, the amount that I shade. This number, because it's less than one, tells me how many in each group. And go ahead and write this on your paper. That way you don't forget. Okay, if it's a number less than one, it's how many are in each group. And you're going to make loops around um, your four tenths. Your answer becomes how many groups? Oops, how many groups? Okay, now before you had problems like this that you shaded your two and six tenths, but then this number, because it's a number uh, bigger than one, it's going to tell you how many groups I have to divide it in. And my answer ended up being how many in each group. So how many in each group. And you can write that in your paper too. Okay, see the difference?